So my name is Vincent Pombrien, and I'm the senior producer on Assassin's Creed. So we are here at Gamescom. Talk about what you guys are showing and talking about new. Right. So uh, since E3, we've been busy uh, all summer working on the game and also on uh, two new demos. So here at Gamescom, we're showing uh, our first black box mis mission, which is the first assassination that Arno will be tasked uh, to do. Uh, and, uh, and then the second demo is uh, what we call a heist demo. It's uh, playable by uh, two players, uh, and it's, uh, it's one of the type of missions that you can do uh, you know, with your friends. Let's talk a little bit more about co-op and how that works. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the idea was uh, to avoid the name co-op, but it is co-op, but we call it the shared experience. So basically what we wanted to do was uh, uh, you know, offer the opportunity to, uh, to share the Assassin's Creed experience with other people. So it's very simple. Uh, all you have to do is, uh, you know, whenever your friends are online, is to invite them in your session or they can do the same uh, to you. And then once you're in the, in the open world, in uh, Paris, then you're free to explore it and uh, start, uh, you know, uh, finding stuff to do, uh, go on missions. Uh, it's very, very um, uh, easy and accessible to do. And once you're online, everything that you can do in a single player experience is the same. Uh, we've, uh, we've replicated all the systems like the fighting, the interactions with the crowds. Um, so it's, uh, it's pretty much AC, but with friends. And you can bring someone in at any point, you can start playing single player and then have a buddy join? You cannot uh, have one of your friends uh, join you in the single player main, main path, uh, main storyline. But, uh, you know, whenever you're uh, what we call free roaming, from that point on, you're, uh, you're able to invite friends and, uh, and do everything that's, uh, that's there, uh, all the content that's available for, for that. I'd say a, a good third of the game is, uh, is playable online. The rest, uh, whenever you, you want to go back to uh, Arno's main storyline, you have to kick your friends out. <laughs> So, so the, I'm assuming the heist is one example of some of the different things you'll be able to do with a friend. Yeah, exactly. So um, the the major missions, which are we've, which we've uh, shown at E3, were we call the we call them the Brotherhood missions. So these are narratively driven missions, uh, although slightly different from the single player missions with less cinematics. And then we have uh, other stuff that you can do uh, online, such as just going. Uh, exploring the world, find collectibles, treasures, stuff like that. And then we have the heist missions, which are also playable uh, with friends, but they're simpler than the Brotherhood missions. They're focused on finding treasure. When it comes to the black box mission you guys are talking about, go a little bit more into detail on that. Sure. So the idea was uh, for people that have played the AC1, this will uh, look familiar. It's the idea of uh, you know being tasked on going on, on a mission to, uh, to assassinate someone. But uh, the idea is that uh, it's very open-ended, more than ever before. Uh, we call that uh, the black box because they're, they're actually um, self-contained mission where with uh, 360 degrees approach. So there's there's more than one way to uh, to uh, m you know uh, reach your objectives. Um, either you can go in stealth or uh, combat or uh, through navigation because you're an assassin, so you can access areas which are, are difficult for uh, for normal people to do, and uh, they're uh, highly replayable because of that. What does Next Gen open up for you guys creatively? Uh, Next Gen allows us to uh, go deeper in what we've always tried to do before uh, in terms of uh, these interactions with with the crowd. We can have uh, you know thousands of uh, smart and interactive NPCs now, something that was just not possible in terms of hardware before. It wasn't powerful enough. We've uh, obviously upgraded the graphics, but that's not even important. For us, it was really about gameplay and what we could uh, you know, improve in terms of uh, the, the three major pillars. We have combat, navigation, and stealth. And on each of those, we've, we've added uh, a lot of depth. And uh, uh, I think this is one, uh, one of the things that people were asking for. How does this Paris and the size and scope of this game compare to other Assassin's Creed games people are familiar with? I'm one of those people that think that size doesn't matter, but, but it is, it is uh, by far the largest uh, environment that we've ever created. Um, it's uh, the landmass. The landmass of Paris is bigger than uh, than all the islands from the previous game in Black Flag uh, combined together. So it's it's quite a, a large surface area to explore. But beyond that, what we wanted to do was focus on a single place, but allow players to to visit the city of Paris or our version of, of Paris uh, inside out. So we have. Uh, not only like, just a huge environment, but we, we, we also have like seamless interiors, we have landmarks, the catacombs, sewers, so it's very dense. 